Hey loves, so this video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a get ready with me with gold leaf hair. This is their 360 lace wig that I'm going to be showing you in this video along with some new makeup. So the first thing that I'm going to do, well I already did the first thing which is wash my face. But I'm going to go ahead and put on that your Saint Laurent which is the all hours primer. I really actually do like this stuff even though um, it isn't like a silicone base. This actually does work for my oily face. So my makeup does stay on flawless all day. And then the next thing. I'm going to go ahead and use for my brows is the Saint Laurent All Hours Concealer which is in the color sand. I told you guys before that you can definitely check out Oxley.com if you do videos or social media they'll be more than glad to send you some free products to just test out and review and give your opinion but for the most part I do love the Saint Laurent Concealer it is a great color and I was able to choose my color so I do use it multi-purpose for my eyelids for under my eyes you know it is what it is. Now just to give me a little bit more color I'm going to go ahead with one of my favorites which is oh so cheap and this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color medium beige and this gives me a little bit more tanner color plus I do like to mix them together it gives me more cover so that way I don't have to get rid of my eyebrows now just to set that powder or that excuse me those concealers I'm going to go ahead into my contour palette by Morphe and then I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus or MAC Studio Fix Plus or whatever you want to call it <laughs> um, um, face press powder and I'm going to use that on my eyelids this gives me just a little bit more color as you guys can see and I actually do like it the color is NC42 now onto this Morphe palette this time I'm using a different one which is the 35F so it's kind of like a little bit of matte and more or less more frosted I'm just going to take this eyeshadow and just blend it into my crease area and just kind of like smoke it out a little bit I'm just going for something simplistic nothing too over the top because hey it's a holiday kind of look I don't like to do too much much for the holidays as in my makeup because I'm so busy wrapping gifts cooking or you know just doing things for the holidays so my makeup is something I really don't want to spend a lot of time on so yeah I'm only going to use two shadows from that palette and this is a little bit darker one and you guys see I love those kind of like unicorn brushes now something really cheap and expensive is the elf liquid eyeliner I did pick this up at the Dollar Tree but if you don't have a Dollar Tree in your area you can definitely check it out online or you can get the LA colors one I think they're the exact same thing but with a different name on it. Now you guys know I am not that that great at doing my eyes on camera so hey. Now for today's video we're going to use the LA Girls Pro HD foundation. The color that I'm in is Soft Honey and this is very comparable to the one that I'm always raving about the foundation which is Colors. I absolutely love this foundation as well and it's really best to use like a nice dense brush so that way you do get full, full coverage and you can kind of like build it up. So I do think the color is very matchable as well as the consistency is really like, you know, it's not too watery but you can build it like I said and if you use the right brush then you get like the perfect coverage. But I do like this foundation. I find that it lasts throughout the day for me especially if I put the right facial primer on. I'm just going to blot it with one of my favorite beauty blenders which is the Real Techniques and we're going to move forward. Now it is on to some more concealing. I do have this amazing, amazing cosmetics concealer. This is the illuminating concealer. Um, and they did send me this the other day, so I thought I would give it a try. And that one that I'm using is in the color tan golden. And I'm going to place the Saint Laurent All Hours Concealer in Sand over top that just to give me like the perfect coverage as well as the perfect color. Now with the flat end of my beauty blender I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend that into my skin I do like it to be a little bit light under my eyes not too light but sometimes I do have to use different colors it all depends I think on the mood that I'm in so as for the Saint Laurent um, concealer I do like it a lot it does last throughout the day which is amazing and I'm going to set that with my morphe contour palette I don't use the yellow because it kind of makes me well let's say a little bit ashy so I like to use more or less like a beige or color that's more or less it works for me and I'm not going to bake I'm just going to quickly set it and wipe it away so that way I can go forward and use another application of concealer which is the Pro Concealer by LA Girl and this is in the color yellow. Now the yellow concealer is great for those who want to color correct but for me it's great for under eye highlight. Trust me ladies when I tell you this is the best one for me. It gives me more or less like a natural highlight and because I have yellow undertones it kind of works really good for me. 
So as you guys can see, um, more or less, a little bit more yellow tone. It kind of matches a lot better. I don't look too pale. And if you're wondering why do I do more than one step, I like to set it because it does hold my foundation as well as my concealer a little bit better. Now into a drugstore foundation, which I do use for my contour is the Black Opals. And this is in the color Beautiful Bronze and it is a cream stick foundation. Um, I really don't like it for my entire face, but I will use it for contouring. I do have lighter colors, but they're kind of not that great for those who have oily skin. And it also does help to hold my powder contour, which I use here is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate. I love this matte bronzer. I've been using it religiously for like months and months and months, probably like a year now. I do switch it up from time to time, but I contour my face and my nose with it. And then I also use this matte at MAC blush which is film noir and it's just as great for contouring now onto the Givenchy this is their setting powder and this is the travel size this is another great product that I did get from Octoly as well and this is a pastel color now the cool thing about this one here is I ain't getting no flashback I don't look chalky I don't look ashy this one just looks really good on my skin tone some of these satin powders I really cannot use because they make me look ashy really really chalky I get bad flashback or it dries me out it makes me look just like really really dry so I can only use very few and just for my bottom lashes because you guys know I do wear um, individuals along with strips um, I'm going to just use my Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara which is another free product along with that it's time to set my face and I'm using my MAC Studio Fix in the color NC42 I actually do really like this now onto the new product this is the becca cosmetic and this is the gradient glow as you guys can see there are loads of different colors in this and it's really pretty i'm going to use more or less that copperish reddish tone roses color tone just to bring out my cheekbones a little bit as well as my nose and i do like it it's a little bit light for me um i wouldn't say i want to use all the colors but i would use like the darker ones and as you see i did use the lightest color in the be compact um, and it did give me a little bit of glow but not something that I would like go crazy over so just to spice it up I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to use this dual finish highlighter by Lancome which is in the color radiant rose gold glow excuse me radiant rose glow and this one gives you a very pretty glow it's nothing too over the top especially if you're gonna go lightly but I think this is great to wear during the daytime especially if you don't want your makeup to be too dramatic and those two products the Becca as well as the Lancome is another product that I did get from the Oxley website which I absolutely love because they give great products from makeup to hair care products now it's time for those lips and this is just an oldie but goodie which is mauve by NYX and to top it off a little bit of YSL your Saint Laurent um, rouge lipstick in the color beige tribute this color is pretty you guys know I do like the new colors or very light colors so now on to the hair so golden leaf hair is a really nice wig company they give you lipstick a nice magazine and all that this is the 360 20 inch virgin brazilian lace wig i do believe it's 150 percent density but i'll go ahead and list all the information below now let me tell you guys i did not wash it i got the wig yesterday and straight out the box this is how i'm going to style it it has a nice amount of volume pre-plucked hairline okay but being that it's right out the box you see i didn't need to kind of like customize it as well as my head cap right here but for the most part you do get nice little amenities who gives out lipstick the lipstick that they gave me was a red color you guys know i don't wear red so i did give that to my daughter already but i like the fact that they give you like this nice satchel bag and i mean i'm saying that. the baby hairs are really nice as you guys can see my part is popping hunty yes and this is, like I said, is the Body Wave, if I didn't mention it. It is their Virgin Brazilian, and I do believe this is the 150%. It does have two combs in the front and a comb and an adjustable strap in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and just use some of my Got To Be Spray. This is the Blow Drying Iconic Spray, and I'm just going to use a little bit of that on my baby hairs. Um, I did cut the baby hairs because I didn't want them too long. As well as that, I'm also going to use that Got To Be Iconic Blow Dry Spray on the hair. This gives you like a really good hole. It gives you like that. That salon scent and I love it I'm also going to be using my irresistible wand I love this it has eight interchangeable wands with it so the system is really worth it but for one the hair curl is really really easy I do like that I love when hair curls super easy it's not so dense so it's this process that I curled it was super fast normally when I make a wig I 
I have like four bundles and that's a lot of hair and so it takes me a lot more time you guys know I don't like to curl on camera but I do like the length to be honest it really does look longer than 20 inches to me it looks like it's like 22 which I'm not complaining because listen you guys know I do like long hair and I do like a lot of full hair but I do like the texture I do like the quality of the hair the lace the cap was constructed so nice like seriously I didn't need any kind of elastic band or anything it fit nice and snug to my head it laid flat which I really did like the knots in the actual unit were perfect so I didn't have to do too much normally sometimes I have to put some type of powder like a facial powder on the inside of the wig as well as I'd have to put a concealer on the outer portion as you guys see I only use the powder on the inside and look at my part like I'm saying I'm fooling my own self now I really didn't think you guys wanted to see me curl that side so I just thought hey I'm just going to curl the back because it's kind of like repetitive 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 or whatever and I just wanted to go ahead and just hurry up and get that over but I like the way the baby hairs came out the hair is very flowy and for it to be straight out the box was super easy the way I did get that part and the way I trained the hair to go to the right side because I did put the part on the left was I did use my lot of body setting lotion and I just um, setting mousse excuse me and I just sprayed a little bit on the hair where I put the part at and I just basically brushed the hair over and then I put some in the back and brushed the hair forward and then also some right in the front to brush the hair up so guys make sure you check out double leaf hair they have some really affordable units I'm really impressed for this one especially straight out the box it curled really nicely I'm so impressed with the pre plucked hairline as well as the knots in this unit and for the most part I'll leave all of the information below for you guys make sure they check them out they probably have like a really nice Black Friday sale on make sure you rate comment subscribe I love you guys and I'll see you in a soon to come video bye